Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be a fairly quick one about Pi-hole. So, I haven't done a Pi-hole video in almost a year, with some of our most popular videos being about Pi-hole. But, this one isn't going to be your classic Pi-hole video. It's actually going to be about a feature that we're just using inside of Pi-hole to do some testing with some websites as part of our website series that we're working on right now. So, the first thing you want to do is activate your Pi-hole web interface. As you can see, I've done that now. And then we want to click, did you mean to go to the admin panel? Go to the admin panel and go ahead and log in here. Now that we've logged in, we can see all the different settings and configuration techniques here, just as we've done many times before. But this time, instead of going to settings and adjusting things like DNS here, like we did in our previous video, we're actually going to go to local DNS and then DNS records. Now here, we can actually set domain names for inside of our network. As you can see, I have one here set to power.local, which if we were to use it, we can go ahead and we see that that actually takes us back to our Proxmox server, something that we've done many times in the past. You can also see here site one and site two. That is from some testing that I did for an upcoming video where we actually use Apache to host two separate websites using a setup called virtual host that other people refer to as a reverse proxy. So today's video is going to be of how I set this up so that we can use it in other cases. So I do have all of my systems set up now, as you can see that I use, but we can go ahead and pretend that this isn't set up and I can show you what you need to enter here. So the domain is going to be power dot local and then over here, we just enter the IP address to the server. So in this case, we can enter 10.10.2.162 for the Proxmox server. So that's how simple it is to set up your own local domains inside your network. This allows you to easily type something in that's more easily remembered than an IP address for configuring systems. I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation and found it useful for more setup type things inside of your home lab or on your home virtualization server. As always, have a good night.